So this is an algorithm, and that's used, it, it's, that's used to measure mainly sunlight and look at solar patterns. So you can put a model on your table. You need to know the orientation that you're going to use. So here you have the north, the south, the east, and the west. You need to choose the latitude at which you are. So for example, Edinburgh is around 55 degrees. So you can rotate this, get different levels. If I put it back to Edinburgh, it's going to be somewhere here. Turn it on. And you see there is a light there. And you can see it's currently March. I can change that. If I go to April, okay, April is currently here. It's above March, May, above April. And effectively, you can see that the sun is going up as you go towards summer. If I put it back to March, what you're doing is effectively looking at the pattern of the sun. So sun rises from the east, and then you have indicated the hour. Okay, so you have seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock. You can see how the light is actually incident on your building. Now that can be used for a number of things. You can see how much daylight you can get inside the building, but you can see also the shadows. You can change the orientation of your building to actually maximize daylight, for example. And you can see how things change at different times of the year. Okay, you can see how the same building would have different type of daylight uh, in different parts of the world. So you can do all those type of tests. And it's a relatively simple piece of equipment that can give you an initial idea in terms of how you can use daylight. Uh, nowadays you use a lot of softwares, so you can get then more refined uh, types of uh, analysis by using actual software. But that's a nice tool that you can use at the very beginning to get a general idea of how the sun is actually impacting on the building.